Well, the last time Baylor and TCU met, of course, Lady Bears was in first place. Horn Frogs were in second and went down to the wire 11 days ago in Fort Worth. But that was without star sophomore Lylissa Smith. Smith was back in the lineup. There you see the Baylor softball team getting recognized during tonight's game against second place TCU. First quarter, there's Dee Dee Richards on the wing, drives baseline, lays it off last. That cuts the frog lead to one. She'd finished with the game high 17. Later in the frame, Richards on the block. Out the Juicy Landrum for three. Got it. Part of a 7-0 run. Second quarter, Frogs make a run of their own. Michelle Berry up to Keanu Ray for three. That would cut the Baylor lead down to one. Next possession, Moon Earths and pump bakes inside to Nalissa Smith. Two of her 12 points tonight. Lady Bears would blow it wide open in the second half, and they cruise 81-62. to Curtis Quillen, he is live at the Ferrell Center tonight as the Lady Bears extend their stranglehold in the Big 12 to three games now, Curtis. Yeah, Nick, you touched on it briefly. A two-point game at the half. Baylor took care of second place TCU 81-62 here inside the Ferrell Center tonight. And it all started with a 17-4 run by Baylor to open up the third quarter. In that stretch, Lauren Cox scored 10 of her 16 points and forced Horn Frog coach Reagan Peebley to call a timeout. That's after several kickouts kept TCU in striking distance during the first 20 minutes. Kim Mulkey said after the game, it was just a real quick adjustment when they got to the locker room. First thing is stop and dribble penetration. The second thing was help the help. Cox and Queen did good jobs of helping, but then they get a layup because we're hugging our man away from the ball. So we, we corrected those things a lot. Five Lady Bears scored in double figures with two double doubles in Cox and Nalissa Smith. But Dee Dee Richards game high 17 points came in clutch as well. The 53rd straight home win is the 12th longest such streak in NCAA history and the first conference road loss for the Horned Frogs. The Lady Bears return to action Saturday at Oklahoma State. Live with the Lady Bears in Waco, Curtis Quillen, Six Sports. All right, Curtis, Lady Bears, just keep on rolling.